Wayne Given, Dick Grunai, and Dr. Jerry Levelsmeyer have more than 160 years of experience between them with the Carbondale Lions Club. Each man knew early in life they wanted to give back to their community. The joy in uh, seeing what the club does for the community and for individuals, um, particularly people uh, that we buy eyeglasses for that can't afford them. Site preservation is the main cause for the Lions Club. The organization collects old eyeglasses and hearing aids for those in need. Levelsmeyer is an optometrist and has traveled to several countries helping people see again. He recalls a specific example involving a woman with severe cataracts. And she raised up and kind of fell around, patted me on my shoulder and said, I can't see you now, but I'll see you in heaven. And that kind of got me. The Lions hold a lot of fundraisers to pay for their outreach to the community and beyond. Twice a year, there's a pancake breakfast. Each member spends time volunteering at it, and every five years, the group paints fire hydrants around the city. Brunei remembers one year when the weather was hot and there were a limited number of volunteers. I was asked at the end of the project how many hydrants I had personally painted, and I added it up and it was over 200. Uh, so. Yeah, that was one of my big involvements. It's just some of the projects these men have done to give back. They plan to continue doing it as long as they can, and they get back as much as they give. As a sort of jack-of-all-trades lawyer, I didn't specialize in anything. Any broadening I can get to my view is, is uh, all to the good. Been doing it for 55 years, I guess. All of us are getting older, and it's harder and harder for us to do the work that's necessary. Uh, in the fundraising projects and it's very difficult to recruit young young members. In Jackson County with tonight's Unsung Heroes, Kevin Huntsperger, News 3.